Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Left or Right podcast. Today, I have with me Marty and William. What's going on, guys? Hey. Good, yeah. Not that much. So we had a lot of elections this week. We found out who the nominees are for the Pennsylvania governor race. It's going to be Doug Mastriano versus Josh Shapiro. And we basically already made the projection that Shapiro is going to be the next governor of Pennsylvania because Mastriano sucks. Yeah, I'm predicting a Shapiro landslide. Like I've seen even Republicans that have never endorsed a single Democrat endorse Shapiro over Mastriano. And that's why I think that Shapiro is going to win in a total landslide. He's a good candidate. Uh, going up against an awful candidate, and I think the people of uh, Pennsylvania are going to unite around him. What do you I think, def- William? I, I definitely agree with Marty. He Ben Shapiro was a very strong candidate. I don't yeah, know Ben much. Shapiro. Yep. Not Ben Shapiro. Josh. Shapiro. Crap. I can't talk. I'm calling him Ben Shapiro. He's definitely a better candidate than the Republican nomination. So I definitely agree with Marty there, and I do hope he wins the election. Yeah. No, I'm going to have to agree. I mean, we already called it because Shapiro is going to win. Um, the Senate primaries also happened. John Fetterman won the Democrat nomination, but we still do not know who the Republican nominee is. After it's still too close to call, Oz is winning by just about 1,000 votes as of now. Um, what do you think about that, Marty? Well, I'm getting PTSD from Florida year 2000 election, and I think it's going to come down to the freaking wire. And I saw Oz complaining about how um, McCormick's legal team is hitting him with like a bunch of stuff, which honestly good. And I saw that Oz is like claiming victory prematurely, and it's too soon to know. You know, you can't really you can't say who's going to win because Oz might have a lead right now, but they're going to recount it's in, by his lead is by 1070 as of now. Okay, yeah. A recount could show that McCormick won. Like it's too close to call right now, but it's not looking good for McCormick. If I, I know the recount could show that McCormick wins, but if I had to put a number on it, I would say that McCormick has a less than 40% chance of victory right now. Um, just yeah. because recount can show that there was mistakes, um, especially in some counties, but it's not going to, but a, a thousand is a, getting close to recount can't really help you there. So I'm going to give McCormick a, a 35% chance at victory as of right now. What do you think, William? Um, so if I'm correct, they still haven't counted five, um, 5% of the votes, right? It's about. It's it's about like one percent now at this point. Yeah, personally, me recounts are not that successful, especially for a thousand vote difference. So I think Doctor Oz is barely going to pull out the victory for this one, and I do think John Fetterman's going to win the general in that regard. You see, I'd call the election, but I don't want to be that guy who's like, yeah, Oz not- won, and then all of a sudden it changes because I mean it's so close. It's so close. I think anything can happen, but I feel like Oz is going to come out as a victor no matter what. But I don't want to call it until we for sure know. I projected that on election night. I said Dr. Oz was barely barely going to win. I'm looking like that's working out for me, but still. I'm the one who predicted Kathy Barnett to win. So, yeah, that (laughs) I'm I'm confused because if Fetterman. Uh, is gonna, Fetterman looks like he's going to get the win if Oz loses and Mark Kelly's leading in polls right now and Warnock's only like did a you, few Did points. you see my TikTok? I did see your TikTok. Yeah. So Bro, I, and there's War- like they, they like released all of these Arizona polls and Mark Kelly's beating every single Warnock, candidate Warnock's by only like a 10 few, points. Warnock's only a few points behind, like, a, like point percents behind. I don't see where this red wave is coming like i uh, i keep like i i personally think that a red wave is coming but i don't see where the wave is coming like if if looks like pennsylvania is going to be a lock arizona is going to be a lock georgia which is a predominantly republican state is 
really close. Like I, I know it's coming, but like, where is it? You know? Yeah, I, I agree with Marty here. Just like the Democratic p- candidates this year are very popular, so I don't know. I don't see a red wave happening. So I think the Republicans are hyping themselves up too much. There's definitely a chance for either party to take the Senate. House is a different story that Republicans are going to win. Well, I'm going to just say something. There's this vote blue guy. You know that vote blue guy on TikTok? You know that uh-huh. guy? He yeah. gets on my nerves. Because so he, he every single time he set, posts a video, he's like, blue tsunami, blue tsunami. I'm like, bud. It's, it's not, not going to be a blue way. I, I hate down the ballot voters, no matter what party. I I just hate people who just, they go down the ballot voting for their party and then they don't even Blue take tsunami. into consideration. They don't even look at the names. I hate those types of people. So the vote blue, no matter who, or the, you know, the, uh, every, like they just, they're just, they're all in general are just annoying. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Um. <laughs> I think we should move on. I think the best news of the entire election night. So um, Madison Cawthorn, oh, he's been mentioned so many times on this podcast and so many times for the wrong reasons. Um, he lost re-election to, or not re- re-nomination to Chuck Edwards. Chuck Edwards beat Madison Cawthorn by just about a thousand votes, uh, Edwards got thirty three percent of the vote, and Cawthorn got thirty one percent of the vote. What do you think about that, William? Um, I am very grateful he lost, but I do have one question, which is never going to be answered. If that, if the video of him having humping his cousin didn't come out, do you think he would have won re-election? That's my question, which I will never really get the answer of. Probably not. I, I, I don't. Not. I don't think that video made a difference. I think the people in the district were already fed up with it. I agree, but you never know. <laughs> I'm Marty, What do you think? Um, that guy Edwards. He's a saint. Uh, I agree. A real one. He's a real one for going up there, taking one for the team, trying to defeat this atrocious political person i don't know what to call him i don't is, is he really even a person no. um but i'm so glad that he did it i'm so glad that he pulled through and won it's a w for the district of north carolina uh but i also don't think i don't want to be the guy i don't want to i don't want to be that guy but i don't think this is the last time we will see madison cawthorn i predict a comeback he'll I run agree. for something He's gonna run for something. He's too I think young. He, I think he'll run for governor of North Maga. Carolina next uh, election cycle. He's too popular with the people of North Carolina and the MAGA people to not run for something again. I completely agree. I wouldn't be surprised if Trump runs in 2024 that he places him in his cabinet and gives him a nice job. I I wouldn't be surprised if all that stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if he runs for a governor, attorney general. Like I wouldn't be surprised if he. It does something like that. Hey, can I add something to Marty, though? Sure. I don't think it's going to be successful whatsoever, but I do think he's going to run for president in 2024. I mean, he, he won't can't. run for president. He can't even run for president. He's too young. Oh, crap. My bad. I he's thought he was 26. Um, <laughs> Damn, he's really young. Here's here's some uh, bad news if you're from New York. Ah. Uh, so Bill de Blasio this week announced that he's going to be running for Congress because New York just got their new map approved. It sh- messed a lot of things up. People are now switching districts um, and this district was empty. And then Mondaire Jones decided, you know, what, I'm going to switch and run in this district because I think I could beat Bill de Blasio because Bill de Blasio sucks. So what do you think about Bill de Blasio announcing his um, run for Congress? I'm sad that Vaughn isn't here for this. I know, right? It, it's like this This topic was specifically added for Vaughn, and he's not um, even here. I'll, I'll just say what Vaughn was going to say, that this uh, they, he eats pizza with a fork. I mean, Yeah, that's what I thought of. Why, 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 why? He's also like a bad governor, but most or bad mayor. But most importantly, why does he eat pizza with a fork? You know. Yeah. 
But this is a ter- this is, uh, New York can't help but take L's at this point. Um, is, is it confirmed that Andrew Cuomo is not running? Um, not it, yet. Oh God, not yet. But imagine, imagine they both become prominent politicians in New York again. Ugh. No, I think I it should. It would be funny if like Cuomo ran in this district as well. It's gonna be so Cuomo gross. versus Blasio versus Mondaire Jones. So gross. Like I don't even know. I don't. I don't even know who his other competitors are. But I'm just rooting for them. Like I have to do more research. Well, but the, like the so the incumbent guy Mondaire Jones, um, he's like black and gay. So like, oh my, he's he's currently a congressman. Um, is he popular? Uh, God, no what 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 dis- what district is this again? Uh, this is District 10, New York District 10 on the new Do we map. know what cities encompass this? Uh, Lower Manhattan, oh, Brooklyn. Fuck. So it is kind of the oh, prominent. Oh, God. The people, the, those are people just like, oh, my gosh, Bill de Blasio. I know him. Let me vote for him. Like, they don't even know what he's done. They're just like, I know his name. Like, yeah, like oh. yeah. Uh, no, I honestly hope Mondaire Jones beats de Blasio because I don't I want de Blasio. The Republican wins. <laughs> It's a D plus 50 skeet. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Oh my god. Oh no. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. He's gonna win because it's just that year. It's just that year where we don't where we just got a shitty politician, Madison Cawthorn out. So we need to replace him with a shittier person from the other side. We just okay. need to balance the scales. Is this is this is absolute travesty. I I 100% agree, though, that uh, Bill de Blasio is going to win that seat. He is way too popular in New York for some Why reason. Why is he popular, though? I don't know. That he's garbage. I'm being honest. He is absolute garbage. At least Hitler didn't eat pizza with a fork. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, um, so I was just scrolling through the Wikipedia article on the run, and I f- on the New York Congress race, and I found out that Curtis Lewa has expressed interest in running in – uh, tw- Tom Swozy's seat. Mm. Just don't really want to talk about that. Just wanted to point it out. I I don't know. I have to do more research. I like. I have to do more research on Tom. Swozy. It's kind of like a toss-up district, but and Tom Swozy's running for governor. So I like Curtis Sewell. He was a former veteran. What's, um, He's, I'm very proud to have him in politics. If he doesn't win, I would, I would be very proud. All right, with that said, let's move on to the next topic. So Elon Musk yes. announced this week that he will vote Republican for the first time ever. What do you think about that, William? Uh, personally, me, he can vote for whoever he wants because it's his life. That's what the, our founding fathers wanted. Personally, me, I do not support most of the Republican candidates up through this election, but it's his life. That's how our founding fathers wanted it. So he has the right to do that. All right, uh, Marty, what do you think? I don't give a shit who he's voting for this time around. I'm surprised that this man voted for Obama twice. That caught me off guard tremendously. This man seems like the type of dude to vote for Mitt Romney. He does. I I am sh- utterly shocked that this is that he voted for Obama twice. Uh, but this time around, I don't really care who he's voting for. Um. Congratulations, you're like 50% of America. I don't know why he felt the need to announce this to the world. Uh, I just think that he, um, because he's popular right now, he, celebrities feel entitled to share their opinions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's my take on it. All right, this is my take on it. I don't give a shit. Like, does this show a shift in... His voting, sure. Does that show a shift in, in how other people will vote? Maybe. But you know what? I don't give a shit. I, Elon kind of sucks. Um, and I hope that he um, votes, still votes Republican anyways, because, well, I don't want to have a testicle switch with Vaughn, if you know what I'm saying. I, but, I, I, um, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know why celebrities always feel entitled to give their opinions. Because guess what? No one cares about their opinions. I don't really care that Dwayne The Rock Johnson endorsed Joe Biden for president, going to be honest. So I don't, I don't, I'm, I just don't really care. 
Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you. Um, with that said, <laughs> let's move on to the next topic. So uh, we have a baby formula shortage. Babies do not have their food. Um, so because of this Biden invoked the Defense Production Act to address it, and then they passed a bill in the House, and I don't know if it's passed in the Senate yet, but to uh, give more money to the FDA so that... I'm educated the- on this topic. Okay, go ahead then, Marty. Um, first of all, first of all, just a conspiracy theory that I don't want to start us off here, that if Democrats can't have their abortion, you know, they just, they just take away the baby formula. You know, I'm just saying, that's just my conspiracy theory. There's no facts around that, but that's just my theory. Uh, now we're going to get on to the facts. First of all, the Democrats bill that they put in the house is absolutely garbage. I went over it. It The 28 million to the FDA. Yeah, that's that's garbage. I just want to ev- say like they the I saw this TikTok the Demo- the like Democrat TikTok made saying these are the 192 Republicans who or whatever it was who First voted all, against it. The the reason why we don't that we're having this shortage is because of the FDA. It's mm-hmm. because they shut down one of the mass producing uh uh factories of baby formula. They shut it down. For like months. Yep. So so let's fund the people that are causing the shortage. No, what we should be doing is we should be breaking up these monopolies or whatever you want to call them. Or no, what's it called? Because like the mm. the the baby formula companies are in the pockets of of politicians. That's been proven uh time and time again. So all these politicians are just corrupt basically and that's why we have a baby formula shortage because there's like four companies that control the market and that's a that's a whole different issue that i'm not going to get into but my main point is that the bill itself is garbage because that bill just funds the problem it doesn't fund the solution all right i completely agree with you uh william what do you think um yeah there is an issue i'm going to i'm going we're both all of us are going to have to accept accept that I'm not 100% certain how to combat the issue, but judging by what I Fun heard, life, yeah. yeah, we need to figure out a better way to combat the issue. Is it Bill 42? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not 100% educated on this issue, but we, but we need to figure so, out. Uh, the Republicans had a better bill than the Democrats. Um, I, I, for, I forgot what it's called. They didn't pass or whatever, but. It was, um, so they passed two bills in the House. On the baby formula shortage, the the first one it was, um, uh, I think it was, H- it, was oh, it was like HR something ninety. Um, that bill was passed, um, on a vote of, um, I'm, so that bill was passed on a vote of, um. Shoot, I can't find it. They only bring up the one 414 to nine. So that bill got through with these. Um, this just loosens the restrictions on formula uh, and how it could be purchased just so that it can help with women. Well, in the the thing that we the, here's your solution. First of all, defund the FDA, because obviously everyone thinks, oh, well, the FDA is why you have uh Expir- expiration dates on your milk like okay expiration but, i mean good like like they cause problems and why are we funding the problem it's it's yeah. it just boggles my mind that they shut down one of the mass production companies of baby formula for a couple months and then a shortage happens and then we're like oh yeah let's fund the people that did that i don't know it's just crazy also, I don't want to confirm. There was a bill that was like giving baby formula to low-income families, right? Um, yes. I saw some. Yeah, that was like that's kind of what ago, the right? defense. Uh, that's what the defense uh production act is being used for. Okay. Yeah, I'm just wondering because I, I have to... a better idea that Joe Biden could could uh come up with. How about <laughs> we just take all the baby formula and send it to Ukraine because they need it more. <laughs> That, okay. That like uh, with that said, let's move on. So, uh, speaking about Ukraine, um, Sweden and Finland this week submitted their application to join NATO. 
What do you guys think about that? Have they got bombed by Russia yet? Not yet. Yeah, that was BS. So uh, that's good. Like, I'm, they're they're probably they would probably die if they didn't. <laughs> Not die, but they might have gotten invaded by Russia if they didn't. So that's a good thing. So that that's basically all I can really say on the issue. All right, Marty, what do you think? As an avid NATO hater, avid NATO hater, um, I don't hate NATO. I I guess I should start off because I I, don't, I know all the people listening right now are going to be like, how could you hate NATO? They protect us. No, they don't protect us. I don't hate NATO, and I don't think that we should disband NATO, but I think that we should scale back involvement in NATO, mostly because all they do is just provide empty threats and waste our money. Well, what doesn't do that? For real. But um, so if, if Finland wants to break its so many years of neutrality and join NATO because they feel like that's going to protect them, fine, whatever. I don't agree with it, but it's their country. I don't live in their country. Finland, Finland's always been a state of neutrality. Like I think even through World War II, I'm mm-hmm. thinking of the right place. Um, but if they if they feel so threatened by Russia that they need to join NATO, then I just think that they should. And I already know Russia is going to threaten them, and it's going to be a whole thing. So all this is doing is just putting fuel on the fire. I'm so glad they had to do it join right now because the fire that's already out of control. Yeah, let's just light it more. I don't know, but I just think it's it's an awful time if that's really what they wanted to do is join NATO. Um, but yeah, that's my take. All right. Um, with that said, let's move on to the last uh, topic before we get into prediction time. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is no longer allowed to receive the Holy Communion. Now, in case if you don't know, if you're not Catholic, uh, the communion is where we receive the body and blood of Christ. And we're like in that moment at the Last Supper and his death all in one thing. Um, yeah, Nancy yeah. Pelosi's not allowed to receive that anymore because of her position on abortion. <laughs> Can I speak on this issue first because I am Catholic? Yes, I'm Catholic too, by the way. That's great. You picked the base religion. <laughs> but uh, I, this is total BS, honestly. Uh, I don't like Nancy Pelosi personally that much. I don't think she's a good politician. But the body, of, but everyone in this world is a sinner. That's the, regardless. And the the Catholic pr, pa, past, uh, crap, I can't speak. The Catholic Pope to the person on death row in Jesus' eyes were all equal and foolish to not give someone the body of Christ because of your stance on abortion. That's like saying you're not going to give someone the body of Christ because you're a sinner, but everyone's a sinner at the end of the day. So you're not any better than Nancy Pelosi. And it's very foolish not to give her the body of Christ, in my opinion. All right, uh, Marty, what do you think? All right, I'm not a Catholic and I'm not indulged in the culture, so you're gonna have to explain this a little more to me. So, the, who banned her? The Pope? Uh, the Archbishop of San Francisco, which is basically so the the top guy is the Pope. Then you got okay, so the Pope of San Francisco. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in like the church. The top guy is the Pope, and there's cardinals over certain districts, and there's popes for different die not popes bishops for different dioceses the diocese of san francisco has bishops and archbishops and the archbishops came together and said nancy pelosi cannot receive communion okay um and it's because of her uh, position on abortion i got that yes um so she can't receive um bread is that, the, is that uh, yes? Is that so? Like the bread is like the body of. Uh, yeah, Jesus. yeah. I, I, I get and the she, whole. I she get, also yeah, can't. Get it. She can't receive the blood either, which is the wine. Okay, so she okay, so she can't get bread or wine in church. Yes, that is that is what we're talking about. Is that they yes. have banned her from bread and wine? Yes, it's a lot. Okay, big. so okay, and okay. Um, I don't. Okay. Um. Well, I'm going to just piggyback off what William said because I'm not indulged, so I don't feel educated to give my opinion that much on it. But I just feel like if you're going to ban, if you're going to single one person out, then I feel like you have to kind of open that to everyone because, like, they're singling her out not because of her position. Obviously, their position, they're singling her out because of her status. And, and, with, and with their logic, they're going to single someone out because of their stance or 
because of their actions. Yeah, like should, that. Uh, every yeah, but if you're gonna if you're gonna single Nancy Pelosi out for a, if you're gonna say, hey, you can't have this because you support this, then you also have to do it to everyone else, and then that's a lot more people. So um, I just think that they did this because she's Nancy Pelosi, not because of her position. They might disagree with her position, but they mostly did it because you know she's Nancy Pelosi. Joe Biden, but that's less. Be good, but Joe Biden's not in San Francisco. So and also because she looks like the devil, but that's a different thing. <laughs> um, with that said, let's head into prediction time. So there are a few big elections. Uh, first off, the Georgia governor election. Uh, the, the primaries are in Georgia, Alabama, uh, Arkansas, and then there's the Texas runoffs. Uh, we're going to be going live on YouTube on Tuesday for that, so stay tuned for that. Um, so the Republican primary for Georgia governor, who do you think is going to win Brian Kemp or David Perdue? I'm going to go first. I think Brian Kemp's going to win. I'm going uh, Kemp. Uh, Cause I'm, Perdue's a poopy head. <laughs> uh, I'm going Kemp because, uh, Brian, I'm going Brian Kemp because David Perdue is a corrupt politician, honestly, and he's losing the polls. All right. Uh, and also on the Democrat side, Stacey Abrams is the only person on the candidate on the yeah. ballot. Um, uh, so then the Senate race, um, I think we are just good. Who do you think is going to win the Republican one? Ready? Three, two, one. Herschel Hersh- Walker. Hersh- now who's going to win the de- who's going to win the Democrat one? Three, two, one. Raphael Jim- Warnock. Warnock. Easily. Yeah. OK, Me- now Hersh- let's actually move to something that's actually interesting. The Alabama Senate race now. This one's competitive. They do have a runoff system under 50%. So I'm going to make my prediction right here. I think this election is going to go into a runoff between Katie Britt and Mo Brooks. That's my I, I, I endorse 100% Katie Britt. Me too. I, same here. I like her religious stance. So I, I think that it's going to go into a runoff between Mo Brooks and... Um, I hundred percent that statement. 100%. I hope not, but I think I think you're right. I think Kate, but I do think Katie Britt's gonna win the runoff. Well, so. Let's see. Um, and then the last thing, the last election, is um. So the Texas runoffs. There's a few elections. There's two that we're gonna be covering. The first one is the. Uh, Texas House 28th District or whatever district Henry Cuellar's in. Uh, Cuellar or Jessica Cisneros, who do you think is going to win in this runoff? Well, I hope not Cisneros. I hope she loses. Hoping Cuellar wins. I, I think he is going to win, but I really am hoping he does win. Got to agree with you. I think I do think Cuellar is going to win. And if, Cis, if Cisneros, Cisneros sleep with her teacher. Probably. I don't know. I if, think Cis, that's if Cisneros does win, it's a Republican flip. So either way, it's a win-win. I can't believe Democrats are that stupid to not just elect them the first time. I, Democrats have this tendency to think that if they can nominate progressive candidates in close districts. That's not Democrats. It, progressives. They think they can win. No, every- it's Democrats because Democrat Democrats elected made this go into a runoff. Yeah, it's dumb. I mean, whatever. Um, I just gotta uh point out the fact that um that's the final election. Oh wait, there's also one more. Uh, the Texas Attorney General race, Ken Paxton or George P. Bush. Who do you think is gonna win? I know. I, I'm gonna go with Ken Paxton. I mean, too. I don't want I'm, him to win, but I don't want him to win either. But I think he's gonna win. I'm going George P. Bush because on the day of the election, some lady was taking away George P. Bush, and they were pretty equal. And I do think he could take out the win. All right. Um. With that said, that I did not say that right. <laughs> with that said, thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode of the podcast. We really do appreciate it. Um. Is there anything last you guys want to say? No. I locked screen with John Fetterman. Okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next week.